Hi, welcome back to Walkie TV, sponsored by West Beer. My name is Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with Cormac Friel. Hi, how Daisy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well. How about you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. And his show is called Jobby Hunter. So, why did you choose um, job hunting as the theme of your show? Well, basically, uh, I was living in Edinburgh this time last year and uh, having a bit of a struggle at finding a job. Are you a student yourself? Yes. Have yeah. you just graduated? One more year. One more year. Well, you'll, you have it all ahead of you. You have it all ahead of you. Uh, it was proved to be a very difficult process, actually, and I had a lot of very awkward encounters with uh, certain people as I tried to find the work. And I figured some of the more humorous tales might do well as an Edinburgh Fringe show, so I decided to debut my time in Edinburgh with that. Cool. And um, is comedy something that you've always wanted to do? Uh, definitely. I, uh, I'm actually quite new to comedy. I've only been performing. I've been performing less than a year, so it's quite rare to see performers of uh, as new as myself here. Um, but this time last year, I was living in Edinburgh as I was job hunting, and I saw a lot of the festivals that inspired me to get into it. So. And it's your first time at the Fringe. It is indeed. And how are you finding it so far? I am absolutely loving it. It has been so much fun. Uh, the audience numbers have been up. Uh, my show is quite late. It's on at 23.30 at the Jack River Height. And <laughs> the way you said 23. Okay. 23.30 because I'm a you know, military <laughs> man. Uh, it's uh, it's quite easy because people are in the bar at the time and it's, uh -huh. a free fe it's a free festival show so it's not too difficult to coax folk in. Uh, being a newcomer and not a huge name, mm -hmm. uh, the name itself doesn't draw folk in. So I, I'm finding audience numbers are up, the reviews have been pretty good yeah. and good. yeah it has been absolutely fun, it's been great fun. There have been a couple of uh, <coughs> Rough nights. Yeah. Did a couple of those. What? But they thicken the skin, don't they, Daisy? <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the fringe, isn't it? It's all it? part of the fringe, yeah. yeah. It would be boring if it was all points for me, wouldn't it? Yeah. But yeah, on the whole, audiences have been loving it. I've been getting. I, I set the venue record the other night. Oh, really? I did for the most donations for a one hour performance. Wow. So that was nice. It was lucky, but it was nice. And uh, what's the venue like? The venue's really cool. It's like a gothic venue on Hanover Street. So it's quite. Uh, as Fringe goes, it's on the outskirts, it's over in Newtown, and it's very gothic. It reminds me of the house in The Sims that Bella and Mortimer <laughs> lived in, which is a weird comparison, but that's, that's, what, that's what comes to mind. Very difficult, people don't really find the toilets. I had one guy come up to me after the show the other day, and he said, Oh, I nearly pissed myself. I said, oh, you find it that funny? He said, no, I took a wrong turn on my way to the toilets to try and find them. Came into your show, thought it would be too rude to leave, nearly pissed myself. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a nice one. <laughs> and uh, have you got any lines from your show that are your favourite and that always get big laughs? There are three that, even on the worst audiences, there these three are the ones that laugh. Uh, one is just a quote from a lady in the first night when we discuss the weaknesses question of interviews. That infamous question, what is your greatest weakness? And one woman from the first night had a stellar quote for that. Uh, you'll have to come and see it. Uh, she's, I'll, I'll, I'll let that one slip. I'll let that one slip. She said that her greatest weakness because you have to turn a weakness into a strength, Daisy. Mm -hmm. you have yep. the first thing you need to learn if you're job <laughs> yeah. hunting next year. <laughs> which she, I will be. You wish she will be. Uh, she, her weakness, she's very forgetful. Sometimes she wears a see-through top and forgets to wear a bra. <laughs> she That's was great. employed. Um, yeah, and there are two others as well. So there are three killers, I like mm -hmm. to call them. Yeah, and you got through to the semi-finals of So You Think It's Funny. I did. How was that? Experience? Didn't go any further, I'm afraid. Oh. Uh, it was great fun. It was a really fun venue to do. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have the best gig of my life. I, uh, I walked on stage and just to show how much of an amateur I was, I grabbed the mic and rather than lift the mic, I just extended it. So <laughs> I think in terms of uh, first impression, I didn't give it a... Was it above you and you had to it, just, it was above me. I had to wind it down and lift with two hands. Uh, so yeah, I didn't give off the best impression and uh, shockingly enough, didn't make it through. But uh, the guy that did was a very nice man. I wish him all the best for the finals on Thursday. Okay. I also advise anybody who's thinking of comedy to do a few, do a few uh, open spots somewhere and then give the competition a go. It's great fun. Mm -hmm. 
like it. And will you be here next year? Fingers crossed. Uh, I, I, obviously next year I don't want to just do the same show again. Yeah. I'd like to have new, fresh material. So it's just a matter if I have a show to bring. I'm not going to come just for the sake of coming. I want to have something that the audiences will actually enjoy. Yeah. But I am here now for the next week. Catch me for free at Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, audience numbers have been good, but also my parents saw the show for the first time last night. And there are a few more dubious bits in the show, and I think as a result I've been slowly written out of the will. So, <laughs> I need all the support I can get, guys. <laughs> cool, well thanks so much for talking to us It's been a pleasure, Daisy, thank you. Okay, and Jekyll and Hyde, 11.30, if you'd like to see Cormac Friel in Jobby Hunter. Thanks very much.